So we're going to look here at Markov chains and just some general background into some of the things that are on the slides. So we've got this thing with England and Australia playing each other in one day cricket. And we know that Australia won the last match. What's the probability that they win the next match is 0 0.7. But if England win the match, the probability of them winning the next match is 0 0.6. Now, we actually know Australia already won the match, but we're going to set up a tree diagram to begin with. So we'll just chat through this tree diagram. The probability of Australia winning is one because we know they've won it. As they won it, there's a 0 0.7 chance of them winning and England 0 0.3. And this is zero because we've got zero times 0 0.4 and zero times 0 0.6. Now that looked quite obvious now. So we know that Australia win the next match 0 0.7, England 0 0.3. It helps us build up the, the uh, third match tree diagram like this. The probability that Australia won, remember, was 0 0.7 and England 0 0.3. Because Australia won, they have a 0 0.7 chance of winning, a 0 0.3 chance of losing. So this probability here are these two times together. Here, Australia win the match. Here, Australia win the match. So we add these two together to get the 0 0.61. The chance of England winning the match is 0 0.21 and 0 0.18. So again, I got these by multiplying those two probabilities. Now we can keep going. So we can do match four and match five and keep producing these tree diagrams. But as it says here, it's very tedious. So we set up a Markov chain. Now for this, we have the initial, <clears throat> the initial state matrix, which is given here, which was this one, the probability of Australia winning the match. And this is the probability of England winning the match. Now this we actually knew happened. Australia won, England didn't. Down here, we put the probability of Australia winning the next game 0 0.7 and England winning 0 0.3 probability here of Australia winning is 0 0.4 and these and England winning 0 0.6 and 0 0.3 so let's just carry on and have a look at the next one to take the match two which is state one we take the transition matrix which is this thing here, and we times it by S1. So if we look at this, the probability of Australia winning the next game, remember, was 0 0.7, and England winning was 0 0.3. So we get that from multiplying this one by this one, and this one by this one. Seems straightforward, but if we carry that on to the third match, the one we produced the tree diagram for, now S2 is the transition matrix, so it's the same matrix here, T, but this time we times it by the state here. So we get 0 0.7 squared and 0.12, giving us these two prob this probability here. This times this gives me this probability. So we can see how we can build these up. You will sometimes see a transition diagram like this. So what happens here is Australia win to win again. So it's bounces back into Australia winning 0 0.7. But if Australia win and then England win 0 0.3, so these two add up to one. If England win, so there's a 0 0.6 chance that they win again, but 0 0.4 chance that the state changes to Australia winning. And this is called a transition matrix.